pass a $900 billion COVID relief bill. Final work on the bill is going on right now, and it includes help for small businesses and another round of direct payments. But it's already drawing fire as too little too late for many struggling Americans. CS Nancy Cordes joins us from the Capitol. And Nancy, a lot of people want to know, when will those checks be in the mail? Nora, the answer, according to the Treasury Secretary, is that some of those checks are going to start going out next week, assuming that everything goes as planned tonight, with the House and Senate racing to pass a 5,000-page bill that almost no one has read. The $900 billion deal is finally done, four days before Christmas. The American people have waited long enough. The cornerstone is another round of stimulus checks, $600 for Americans making less than $75,000 a year, plus 600 more for each of their children. The checks are half as large as the last direct payments eight months ago. That's the least they could have done, other than doing nothing. Chrissy Gatos lost her job as a stagehand just after giving birth. $600 covers half of one month's rent in Newcastle, Delaware. It's embarrassing, I would think, for a country that routinely calls itself the greatest, most wealthy country in the world, that it's taking us nine months to come up with $600. $600 is the amount of money that rich people think poor people think is a lot of money. The bill does include $300 a week in federal unemployment benefits, but only for the next two and a half months. $45 billion for struggling transit systems and $13 billion to bolster food stamps and child nutrition programs. But a $120 billion fund to help restaurants was a casualty of the compromise. Chef Sean Kelly in Granger, Indiana, is now filing for bankruptcy. I took every bit of money that I had and dumped it back in here to keep it alive, and I just, I can't. I have, I have no more money. Tonight, Democrats are describing this bill as a down payment. They wanted one three times as large, and they're hoping for another package in the new year. But, Nora, this bill took nine months to come together. So swift action in the new year seems unlikely. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Thank you, Nancy. Well, tonight, Attorney General William Barr is disputing President Trump's false claims of election fraud and denying the need for a special counsel to investigate.